everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Paul Nguma founder of Phenology Lab in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a stock that is about to go crazy tomorrow and why you should keep it on your watches and I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of this morning's pre-market analysis video right after the intro All right, y'all, before we begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in, all right? Let's get started right off the bat. Again, um, to, today was a red day. I told you guys in the pre-market analysis video that I wanted to see the market tank, and that's actually a good thing, all right? I drew the circle over here. Could we get in here very, very soon? Hopefully sooner rather than later. I strongly believe so. I wanted to drop all the way down to 4,000 and it looks like it's in the right direction. All right, so uh, for those of y'all who are holding puts, you should be making some good money on the spy as it's correcting on the way down. All right, I will follow up on this one in the morning. Now, the stock that all of you should be keeping in your watches for tomorrow that is about to go crazy is DAC. All right, and the reason why I want to share this one with all of you is because it's a bubble, and y'all know how we do it here. This is not this. This is not the video where I tell you guys to buy this thing. No, this is the video where I tell you guys that there is a lot of money to be made on the way down as we short it down. All right, shorting it down, meaning buying puts on the way down. So this is very overextended as you can see here. It went from $2.50 all the way up to exactly $57. Hmm, that reminds me of a specific stock. Um, that reminds me of NEO. NEO did the exact same thing. It went all the way up here from $1.19 all the way up to like in the 50s and in the 60s so uh and where did it end up eventually it ended up all the way down here to 35 dollars again i'm trying to i'm not trying to bring back bad memories to some of y'all who may have gotten caught on the wrong side of that trade but um i like dac for a short this one looks very very good to me and uh definitely be looking at this one for a potential move to the downside there is a lot of room down here so keep this one on your watches for this week especially especially if the market keeps tanking all right so that is the stock for the video now let's talk about you guys stocks of interest since y'all always have some very very good questions the first one that we're going to address is bngo a lot of y'all have been asking me about this stock for some reason um the last time I covered it, we were right over here and right over here. All right, it's been trying to bounce off of this previous level of supports. And as soon as that line of support gave out, let me just remove this thing. As soon as this thing gave out, you were supposed to get out or even better, you were supposed to short it. All right, um, this is very classic bearish pennant. And as soon as it drops, you just keep shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting until it goes all the way down to like this region right here right around here it's almost there it's gonna continue to drop i wouldn't be surprised to see this thing at like four bucks very very soon it looks very very clean this is not something that you go long on the pattern is very clean on this one and i think it's gonna continue downwards to the downside all right all the way down to four dollars before we see a potential bounce at that region so that's my very honest opinions about this stock for all of you who are asking me about this stock am i invested in this thing no obviously because the pattern was there to the downside right and uh also no there's literally nobody involved in here the volume is just too low it does have options which i like again which is the type of stuff that we share on this channel stocks that have options right but this one is just for the short sellers, not for the longs. Until it becomes for the longs, which I would like it at like four dollars, maybe even three fifty. So that's my very honest opinion on that one. Um, the next one that we're going to be addressing in this video, um, that stock is Lemonade. All right, and Lemonade at this very moment is in a very vulnerable spot. 
if that floor breaks again if tomorrow is red if we, if the market really wants to hit that four thousand dollar mark which will be very attractive to long-term investors out there who are sitting with cash ready to get into the market right like maybe some of y'all who are just waiting for the perfect opportunity um lemonade might tank like it might it might tank watch this one for a potential long if that floor breaks is done like all of the dip buyers over here are going to give up on the stock like i can pretty much picture a lot of people buying this golf in the, and bullish and golf in canada right here right trying to dip buy after this hammer and just waiting for the stock to rebound all the way up to like a hundred and like 30 bucks right they try to give it another chance but no short sellers just kept shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting pushing the stock lower and lower and honestly I got one more day one more day if it's not green if we don't see some type of life short sellers are gonna go heavy on this thing and bring it all the way down into like all the way down into this region right here like all the way here maybe until earnings as a pre-anticipatory run to the downside right before earnings again i don't think they know exactly when that date is when i when there's an interrogation point like that Again, it says on the 3rd of May, but it could be a day before, it could be a day after, or it could be that day, who knows. But that's my very honest opinion on this one. Not not long on the market, Evo. Like, I want this thing to go lower. Keep that in mind, all right? Keep that in mind. Um, The next one that we're going to be addressing in this video, that stock is Intel. And for all of y'all who watched this one, it's pre-market analysis video. This was supposed to be an obvious short. Um, I told all of you that the floor broke and uh, to watch this thing for a move down. All right. Hopefully it drops down even further. Again, we want the market to drop and you're supposed to be holding puts on this thing. All right. So uh, watch this one for a move all the way down to 60. Earnings is on the 22nd, which is exactly two days. Right. So it still got some more days for us to have fun with this thing until earnings like shows up. As y'all know, we do not like holding anything through earnings, all right? And let me show a very good example for all of you who may be beginners, who are new to this, and who have no idea what happens through earnings, right? This is what happens when you want to gamble your way through earnings. Let's check out Netflix, shall we? Um, Netflix, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all heard me say we don't buy through earnings, right? And y'all, yeah, some of y'all still bought this thing. I'm pretty sure some of y'all still bought it um netflix if you change this thing to the five minute time frame it got annihilated like i can tell you for a fact that everybody who bought yolo calls and by yolo calls i mean the calls that expire like on friday those calls were pretty expensive i think the at the money calls were like seventeen hundred dollars i saw that and i saw the puts and i was like mm, i don't think i want to get involved at all because again i do not I do not get involved in these plays. This is the easiest and the fastest way to lose all of your money. It's a 50-50 coin toss, all right? 150% gambling. If you want to lose your money overnight, this is this is the way to go. We don't do this here, people. So uh for all of you who are beginners out there, obviously the short sellers who bought puts, you're winning right now, but just know that it could have went the other way. All right. And it has done that before. I think it has done that like um three months ago right over here right all of the shorts who got in here hoping for the thing to tank all the way down to 440 they lost all of their money and now this is the time for the longs to lose all of their money this is why we don't do it we, we just don't do it so uh yeah where is it gonna where's this thing gonna go i think it can go lower usually what happens after this is just a disaster it stays like over here right but given the fact that the market is being uh bearish at this moment I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing tank a little lower towards like the 460s. Um, that's my very honest opinion on that one. Now, somebody asked a question about FUTU. And FUTU, again, for all of you here able to make money on this one, congratulations. It was being a little slow, and I told you that I'll be looking to get in later, right? And um, it did really, 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 really well. Hopefully none of y'all were greedy because as soon as it got in the middle of the circle, which I drew like last week, it's still it's still here. It got as soon as it got in the middle of there, your job was to take your money and run away. Like the, the job was done. That was it. 
again, um, it's very unfortunate to those of you who probably still held this thing, right? Um, the value that was gained on these calls, all of them and even more got wiped away, all right? Where is it going to go next? I don't really know and I don't really care because this was the money that we were supposed to make on this one. And also given the market conditions, um, the situation is not looking too great at the moment. Again, so uh, that's my very honest opinion of that one. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate, destroy, obliterate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. And also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with on the vacation that way you don't miss out on these post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon and the pre-market analysis videos which are released from monday to friday at exactly 8 15 a.m central time 15 minutes before the market opens if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul and Bluma and at Petanology lab on instagram and on twitter and Facebook as well, also Facebook. And uh, and lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I'll have some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. Right after you sign up with Weibo, use my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, alright? Enjoy the outro.